Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video, what we're going to talk about is getting more rotation in your golf swing. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like, the subscribe, the notification bells, all those things because it works with the algorithm with YouTube somehow and absolutely make sure if you really want to become the best ball striker that you can be, check out the master class. I guarantee it's going to help your swing. It's going to help your game and you're going to start enjoying yourself hitting the ball the way you know you can by taking a master class. All right, now let's get into it. Most people think they hear this all the time with the modern swing. They get here, they get like this, and they're like, oh man, you don't have any flexibility. You're not rotating. You're not rotating that well. Well, there's a reason, guy. And I want you to experience this with me, okay? Because this is really going to blow your mind. First of all, I want you to take a club, and I want you to put your hands on the club. Doesn't matter if you can set up like Mr. Hogan or not. Just do our moves and push this club away from you. So when I push this club away from me, now I want you to start taking it to the top. And what you're going to notice here, the, further, the second I start pushing this away from me, it looks to you guys like my shoulders are rotating. But I can assure you that I'm not rotating as much as I possibly can. And it looks like to you, wow, Chris, that's a great turn. That's all these wonderful things. Let's understand something first, okay? When I say you're getting the hands here and you're setting them that you're not rotating, okay? Most people, we were all taught, oh, put the club up here and turn our body, right? So what happens is most people are trying to turn their shoulders this way and this believe it or not is a turn which is making if you could imagine this little area right here like Mike Austin used to call the swing circle center or whatever you want to say it is but if I'm turning this from the outside and I think I'm, I'm rotating I'm actually turning and if you can picture this being this little tiny ball right here and say okay I'm turning well, look at how this thing is moving. It's moving, it's kind of moving this way, then moving this way, and it's not truly rotating. It's not truly rotating. What does rotation really look like? That. See that? I'm turning from the center. I am not turning from the outside. If I turn from the outside, it looks like that. If I turn from the center, it looks like that. See the difference? Turning, rotating. Turning, rotating. And when you can start to understand this rotation doesn't happen from the outside. It happens from the inside. Remember, everything I keep talking about, it's from the inside out. It's from the inside out. Now watch this. We're going to do everything that I've basically I've been teaching everybody on this channel, right? So now we're going to use the engine of the trail elbow. We're going to get set up like Mr. Hogan. We're going to get everything together. We're going to trigger. And then now we're going to go into rotation. And because I'm rotating this way, now at the top, I know I'm rotated. But if we do it, move the arms away in turn, the second you move the arms away, you will feel yourself stop rotating. You will be trying to turn and then you get to the top. So you're here and then you've turned and you're like, wow, man, that's the best position I've been in a long time. This is really great. Back of the hands flat, all this thing, club face is square. It's all great. But there's no rotation. There's none. Watch the difference. When I do everything with the orbit of the elbow and I get rotated, this club is now further behind me, but I know that I've rotated inside of my feet, so now I'm going to be able to rotate coming back down. This might be a little confusing for some of you, okay? But you have to start thinking rotation is not from the outside of my shoulders and me trying to turn. Rotation is from this center point and I'm rotating it. And when you rotate it inside of your field, you'll feel 
like what I'm doing. See, I'm out of breath just a little bit because it's not because I'm out of shape. It's just because I'm rotating. And you can see the stretching of all this. And even on my little belly here, right? It just, I'm rotating inside of my feet. And it creates the illusion when I put the club in my hand that I'm on the right side. But if I stand up, I'm dead in the center of me with this shoulder, right? So I've rotated versus trying to turn. And when you can start to understand this, your rotation is going to get better. It doesn't have to do with flexibility. It doesn't. Most people that go like this and they move the arms down and they're like, oh, I can't get turned anymore. Why? Think about why. This is going to blow your mind if you think about it logically. Logically, think about this. I'm standing up in space. I occupy this three-dimensional space that I'm in right now, right? The further something, which would be the club head, my hands, the further the club head and my hands get away from my body, my brain doesn't understand that I'm trying to rotate. It doesn't understand. So because it doesn't, I'm like, Chris, man, we got to rotate. We got to turn good. We got to do all this stuff to hit this comp ball. But when all of a sudden I start taking the club away from me and my brain's like, wait a second, you said we were just going to turn and rotate. But now because it's moved away from me and I, at this point, I have nothing left but to activate the hands and all the stuff because my body will stop rotating to protect me. Think about that. So all of a sudden, it's like, wait a minute. Now you can do this drill. Remember, I said do this drill with me. So when you come here, now start coming up. And you'll be like, the second you're here and you start coming up, you will feel this. It won't turn. It will not try it. You'll be here and you're like, okay, start coming up. It'll feel like it shifts a little bit like this seesaw thing, but it's not rotating still. And the reason for it is, you are signaling your brain. Your brain's like, okay, we're going to get this great rotation. Let's move it here. Let's start setting these hands are what they call the wrist hinge. The second the wrist hinge happens, the rotation stops. And I'm telling you right now, get to here and then try to finish your backswing and you will feel this will not rotate anymore. It's not an illusion. It's not a trick. Try it for yourself. But here's the beautiful part about it. We're going to get here and we're going to do everything that I talk about, right? So we're like, okay, we're going to move the engine in the elbow. We're going to keep the elbow in its orbit. and We're going to rotate. Now, because all this is going and my intent is to really rotate, not push the club away from me, you will be, oh my God, I am rotating more than I ever have been in my life. Because your brain knows what you're doing. Going around your body in the orbit of the elbow, following the structure, following the concentric circles that Mr. Hogan talked about. Concentric circles do not get elongated. Concentric circles do not go vertical. They are concentric circles around a tilted spine, tilted spine. So these circles are going this way on here, here. Here, at a, not standing up straight, they're tilted forward. So watch this. Even with my hand, if I put it, here's this concentric circle. Staying on the damn thing, guys. Now I can rotate. And that's what rotation is. If the body's trying to rotate, but the hands are pushing away, guess what's going to win the race? Your brain goes, wait a minute. We were trying to rotate, but my God, now we got to get power from somewhere else. Let's set the hands, go to the top, and then try to make all these good rotational moves. Can you do it? Absolutely, you can do it. Are you going to be the most efficient ball striker you could be? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because when you trigger one thing, the brain, you have to understand, your brain is so fast, and how fast it can process it, something, and it's also really fast at trying to compensate for what you're doing so the system doesn't get hurt. So your brain's going, okay, we're going to rotate. We're going to do all this stuff. But now you're going to push this club down the line. And the second I 
I'm starting to rotate, so I'm going to try to rotate. Ooh, that's it. That's the end of it. So the only power source I have left now is to lift the hands. And everybody goes, oh, I'm not flexible. I'm not this. No. It doesn't have to do with flexibility. It has to do you're sending the wrong signal to the computer in your brain that is going to get your body to move efficiently to support the path of the hands. The hands are supporting the path of the club head. Concentric circles. They're all working inward, outward. But the more you can start understanding rotation is happening right here, right there, all day long, just like this. It is not happening from here, here. This is not rotation. This is turning. Okay, here. Let's try to turn some more. Won't go anymore. But if I get here and I think, okay, I'm going to rotate just like this. You guys have seen me talk about the pulley drill. Why is the pulley drill so important? Watch this. In the pulley drill, I'm never going to go this way and pull the rope. I'm going to pull it. Look at that. And when I pull it to its max, look how I've rotated. Pull it to its max on the other side. Look how I'm rotating. I'm not going turn, turn. I'm just not. It is rotation. What rotates? T12 through T1 in the spine. As it starts going down further into the spine, down into the pelvis, where everything gets fused and rotation is like maybe two to six degrees at the most, you can't do that. You just can't. So where is the real rotation coming from? Right here. Imagine this little ball, and you're going to rotate around it, and I'm going to rotate through it. And that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. So if you're struggling with your rotation, start understanding what I'm telling you. Stop trying to do it from the outside. Stop trying to push your hands down the line. The second you push these away, your brain is immediately seeking balance. Because when I do this, most of my majority of my weight shifted over to my right. So that, that is a counterbalance move of my body to try to counterbalance what I'm doing. So if I move the club away from me and then pick it up, I feel like I've got this kind of halfway good turn in my lower body. I think that I'm turned here, but I'll never get the depth. I pick it up, then I'm going to drop it in the slot, then I'm going to try to turn. Too many things that happen in 1.2 to 2.2 seconds of motion. You have to be able to take the governor off so that you can start rotating and swinging as efficiently as you possibly can. And when you understand, move the hands away from the body, rotation shuts down. Do the drill yourself. And when you do it, pay attention to your center. Don't pay attention to the outside. So you'd be like, okay, Chris said, let's push that club away from me. And now I'm going to try to move it around me. I'll be damned. I am not rotating anymore. You're going to feel like you're shifting and doing turn, maybe turning a little bit, but you're not rotating. But now if you follow the path of the concentric circles in the orbit of the elbow, you'll start getting like me. And let me tell you something. I'm 52 years old. I'm out of shape. Give me a break. But I can rotate, period. I can move correctly inside of my three-dimensional space that's going to allow me to improve my rotation. And guess what? If I can do it, you better believe you can do it too. But you have to start looking at it from the right perspective. What perspective is that? You and the way that your brain sees it. If you see it this way, nope, your rotation's going to suck. Okay? It absolutely is. Because what is a wrist hinge? Okay? I have a really good friend of mine. He's actually a business partner with me. His name's Jamie Adams. Okay? And Jamie's up in Chicago. I'm down here in Florida. But Jamie and I talk on the phone all the time. And we were kidding around a couple nights ago. And it's kind of like, you know, how do we really go about explaining this rotation stuff to people? Well, my first response to him was, hey, man, a wrist hinge is a mechanical failure. And he's like, I'll be damn, you're right. Because it is. All right. So watch this. What do I mean by mechanical failure? So all of a sudden, we're coming down here. We set the wrist. This wrist hinge is a mechanical failure because what's happening is you have to set the wrist 
because you're no longer rotating. Think about it. So if you're no longer rotating, you've given up that power source right off the bat. So the only thing you have left is to mechanically set or hinge the wrist. And when the wrist hinge, it is a mechanical failure, period. So think of it this way. If I'm pushed it away and I set the wrist and it's like, oh my God, that looks like a very good PGA Tour player. Okay, but now it can go up and can come down. And if it can go up and come down, it's no longer in the concentric circle. But watch what happens the way we're doing it. I did not set my wrist like this. I did not hinge my wrist. I am rolling them and I get to the top. So watch this as they roll. There's no, in a roll, there's no hinge. The hinge is a mechanical failure. That mechanical failure is caused by lack of rotation because your brain is going, the only damn power source I have left is to try to hinge my wrist. So if you want to keep doing this with the mechanical failure in your swing, go right ahead. But I'm telling you, there's a better way. Rotation can be yours at the highest level. I don't care if you're 22 and I don't care if you're 78. The bottom line is we can all do this. We just have to have the right information. All right, guys, hope that helped. We'll see you in the next video.